este ayuda bastante. Sí, es verdad, ayuda. Sí, es que la clase se siente bien dinámica. Hey, good evening, everyone. Good night, teacher. Hello, Tim. How are you tonight? Good, and you? You're very good. I'm very good. Thank you. Nevi, welcome. Kenya, Vanessa. We have Sochil, Maria Emilia. We have Gabriela. Buenas noches. Good, hey, good, good evening. Good night. Welcome. Good night. <laughs> We have Blanquita there. Yes, hello, Blanca. <laughs> Solo un rato. But yes, I know that is only like 30 minutes, right? We have Juan Alberto. Welcome. Elmer de Nilso. Welcome. Who else is connecting? Sandra Guadalupe. Welcome, guys, to your new session. How was the day today? ¿Qué tal estuvo el día hoy? Todavía nos falta una parte del día, but the Algo majority is stressing, really, in your work. Trabajoso, trabajoso, trabajoso. Yes, with a lot of stress, right? I can imagine the complete day with, with work, right? <laughs> Now is the time that we sorry to be adults. Cuando uno se lamenta de ser adulto, right? We sorry to be adults. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, because when we are kids or when we are adolescents, you say, ay, I want to be an adult. Ya adolescente, ya uno ya quiere ser adulto. Y ellos, ah, ellos quieren ser adolescente y uno quisiera llegar a la adolescencia exactly. otra vez. Exactly. We need to go back. We need to go to the past again. <laughs> But that is good, right? We continue here with, with this fight for the future, with the challenge. Con estos retos. <laughs> y usted su día. Su... It was good, thank God, with a lot of work, with a lot of work, the complete day, but here we are. Thank God. Gracias. O a sea que todo, su bien. jornada termina con nosotros, Miss. Ajá, uh -huh. yes. It finishes with you. And I don't drink coffee. <laughs> Ay, no, no, I, no. Coffee. I don't drink coffee, no. Do you drink coffee, girls? Blanca, Nevi. Yes. No. No? no? Yes. You don't drink yes. coffee? Yeah, you drink coffee? How many cups of coffee? ¿Cuántas? ¿Cuántas tazas al día? How many cups of coffee a day? Two. two. <laughs> Only two. Only one. Confess. Confess. <laughs> No sé que a veces ando con el termo desde la mañana, me queda hasta en la noche porque se me ah. olvida tanto ah. afán. Yes, now that is good because the problem is that sometimes some persons they drink excessive quantity, but when they diminish the quantity, they get a migraine, right? They get headache, problems with the stomach, so it, it's oh, a wow. problem there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Todo so, lo resiente el cuerpo después. It's true, definitely. That's good. All right, guys, remember that yesterday. <laughs> Yesterday, we were given the time. Yes, we started to give yes, some examples yeah. about how It's to give fine. the different hours. So let's go ahead here with the video yeah. that we have on the platform. Let's check here. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you... No problem with the video? No, excellent. Oh, okay, perfect. You'll be able to talk about different cities and international time zones. Additionally, you will practice a conversation between two people in different time zones. Let's get started by listening to a short audio program to practice different cities around the world. Let's listen and repeat. Vancouver, Los Angeles, Mexico City, Lima. Montreal, New York City, San Juan, Brasilia, Sao Paulo, London, Casablanca, Cape Town, Warsaw, Moscow, Riyadh, Seoul, Bangkok, Tokyo, Sydney. 
Now let's listen to a conversation which illustrates the importance of understanding different time zones. Let's listen and repeat. Hello? Hi Debbie, this is John. I'm calling from Australia. Australia? I'm at a conference in Sydney, remember? Oh, right. What time is it there? It's 10 p.m. and it's 4 o'clock there in Los Angeles, right? Yes, 4 o'clock in the morning. 4 a.m.? Oh, I'm really sorry. That's okay. I'm awake now. Now it's your time to practice the conversation that we just heard. And also, I would like for you to answer the following questions in our discussion forums. By looking at the map, which cities are in the same time zone? Which cities are in your time zone? All right, now that we watched the video, we are going to practice the conversation. As you could observe, we have different hours, right? Around the world, it's not the same or the exact time here in El Salvador. Then it's going to be in the United States, for example. They have different times. Now, let's check here the conversation. Let's start. We'll put it here to point it here. All right, it says, hello. Hi, Debbie. This is John. I'm calling from Australia. Australia? I'm at a conference in Sydney, remember? All right, what time is it there? It's 10 p.m. and it's four o'clock there in Los Angeles, right? Yes, four o'clock in the morning, 4 a.m. Oh, I'm really sorry. That's okay, I'm awake now. <laughs> Estoy despierta ahora. Now that because he calls, right? <laughs> so it was a lot Hola, of noise. Me despertaron a otra hora. Yeah, exactly. Imagine. So it was very early in the morning that you were sleeping there. No, that's not good at all. <laughs> now let's practice it. When to say hello. Continue, Debbie. Hi, Debbie. Hi, Debbie. This is Jones. I am carrying from Australia. I'm calling from Australia. Australia. From Australia. Australia. That's a right good one. Nice. Australia. Blanca, continue. I am. Am. Um, contraction? Am. Um, am. Um, good one. Mm -hmm. I'm at a conference in Sydney. Sydney. In Sydney. 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 Very good. Remember. 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 That's a Remember. good one. Very good, mm -hmm. nice. Rafael, continue. All right. What time is there? What time is it there? Here. Let's repeat it. What time is it there? What time is it there? There. There. Here. There. That's all right. Good one. Thank you. Juan Antonio, continue, please. Juan Alberto. Ah, uh -huh, yes. Sorry, I changed the name uh -huh. already. <laughs> but it's, 10 PM. Uh -huh. it's 10 p.m. It's 10 p.m. It's 10 p.m. And it's 4 o'clock. Uh -huh. 4 o'clock there? There, there? there in Los Angeles. Angeles? Angeles? Ra Angeles, right. Right. Ask a question, right? Right. R right. Very good. Thank you. Continue. Let's see. Maria Emilia? Yes. Yes. Four o'clock in the morning. In the morning. Like exclamation, the admiration, right? Four o'clock in the morning. Reclamando, in the morning. Right? <laughs> in the morning. Good one. Okay. Let's continue. Sochil, please. Um, four o'clock. Um, 4 a.m. Uh, 4 o'clock. I am. Uh -huh, 4 a.m. A.m. Oh, oh. Um, I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry. Yes, very good. Continue, Judy. Thank you. Good okay. Hey, good evening. Welcome. 
Welcome to the class. Pero, that's that's okay. Excellent. I am I am awake am, now. Am, am. Contraction. Am, am. Awake. Am awake I'm now. Awake now. Look, hit awake this one. Now. That's good because here they makes a pause, right? Aquí hace como una pausa. Dice, I'm awake now. Estoy now. despierta. Ahora. Ahora que me despertaste, right? So it's now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Very good. Okay. Do you have questions with vocabulary? Preguntas con vocabulario? Do you have new words? Awake. Despierta. Despierto uh, o despierta. It's an adjective. Es un adjetivo. Yes. Any other yeah. question? And wake, awake, it is awake. Pierta, pues, awake. Awake. Es adjetivo. Awake, es un adjetivo. Ajá. Por eso se puede utilizar con el verb to be. Dice, estoy ah, despierto. Correcto, correcto, Ajá. correcto. Estoy despierta, 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 correcto. Excellent. Ajá. I am sleepy, estoy adormitado. Right? I'm sleepy with the verb to be. I'm awake, estoy despierto. Yes. Okay, let's continue then with more practice, more practice about giving the time. Now let's check this monitor here. We are going to give the time of a specific countries here. All right, for example, in London, what time is it in London? Aaron, what time is it in London? It's mm -hmm. it's five. It's five. Mm -hmm. It's five. It's five. Ten. Ten. Past, uh -huh. past ten. Five past ten, no. Porque primero, si mencionamos el past. Oh, sorry, sorry. Ten past. Right? Yes, that's good. It's five ten. But the other option that you have. Five is, ten. Is ten. It's five ten. It's uh -huh, that's past. good. Uh -huh. Or, oh, ¿cuál es la otra opción? O is. ¿Cómo diríamos? Son diez pasadas las. La cinco. Ten to pass five. Eh, Ajá. It's ten. It's ten. Pass. Pass. Ten. Pass. Ten. Pass five. Pass five. That's pass good. Five. Porque serían pass diez five. pasadas las cinco. ¿Ah? Pasadas las cinco, sí. Exactly. So you have two options, right? You have two options here. Now, what about what time? Is it in London? Sandra Guadalupe, what time is it in London? Miss, arriba Hello. era el de, el de London y, y lo puse en New York. It's true. Thank o al revés. You. Uh -huh. it's... Yes, it's true. I change it here. Okay, let's change it here. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, we have London here. And now let's put here Bangkok. Bangkok. What time is it in Bangkok? Mm -hmm. Is is uh -huh. eleven ten. All right, it's eleven. Are you sure? Is it eleven? Is eleven ten? Oh, look at here! Look at here! Tiene que estar ella afuera de la casa para que caiga así enfrente de la. Ten pas. Ajá, uh -huh. it's ten past. Ten past to ten. Well, ten past, sorry. Ten. Eleven. Ten past. Not ten. Eleven. What number is this? Doce. What number is it? Twelve. Twelve. Excellent. That's good. So it's ten past twelve. Or what is the other option? Ah, que es un cuarto. Ajá. What's the other option in Bangkok? It's, ele it's 11. 11, 
one, remember, is not 11. 12, 12, 12. Ah, four. that's good. Aha, uh -huh. it's 12. <laughs> It's, it's 12. 12. Real <laughs> it's 12, 10. That's 10. Yeah, that's very good. Nice one. All right, good one. We have this one. Let's see. Let's continue. Juan Alberto, what time is it in Tokyo? Tokyo Zona. Permítame que no lo veo. Tokyo, let me make it bigger. Lo vamos a hacer poco Tokyo más. Tokyo son... Tokyo. Oh, sí. Yes, ok. Vaya, en Tokyo son... Tú... It's... It's two... Uh -huh. Ten. Two ten. All right. So you're saying that it's two and ten, right? Like this. Tokyo, two and ten. Exactly, it's that time. Y la otra forma es Ajá. It's ten Past two All right, yes It's ten Past two Excellent, that's very good So we have these different options here Now let's go ahead With another one So now let's watch the video with more examples about how to give the time. Hi everyone. In this class, you learn to ask and answer questions using time expressions. Let's get started by learning questions, which are expressing the time. Let's listen and repeat. It's one o'clock. It's one o five. It's five after one. It's one fifteen. It's a quarter after one. It's one thirty. It's one forty. It's 20 to 2. It's 145. It's a quarter to 2. Now, what we want to do is make our own examples by changing the time on those clocks. I'm going to change the time for each and express a different time. Let's do it. Instead of 1 o'clock, we will say 2. Notice that the only thing that we will change is the number for now. It's 2 o'clock. For our uh, next example, it's 2.05. After that, it's 2.15. Then it's 2.30 or it's half past two. Next, it's 2.40 or it's 20 to three. Our last example, it's a quarter to three or it's 2.45. I would like for you to express the time now. I will give you the numbers and you should write the time. Now I would like to go over some time expressions. Let's listen and repeat. In the morning, a.m. Noon, p.m. In the afternoon, p.m. In the evening, p.m. At night, p.m. Midnight, a.m. Let's uh, practice these time expressions now. Let's listen and repeat. It's 7 o'clock in the morning. It's 7 a.m. It's 12 o'clock. It's 12 p.m. It's noon. It's 4 o'clock in the afternoon. It's 4 p.m. It's 7 o'clock in the evening. It's 7 p.m. It's 10 o'clock at night. It's 10 p.m. It's 12 o'clock at night. It's 12 a.m. It's midnight. In this class, we've covered how to express the time in different ways. It's important that you learn all those different ways to express the time. What I would like for you to do now is to practice expressing the time in different ways. I'll write the expressions and you should work on expressing the time in a different way. For example, it's 9 o'clock in the evening. 
Another way to express this is by saying it's 9 p.m. Now I would like for you to change these expressions in a different way. It's 8 o'clock in the morning. It's 12 o'clock at night. It's 3 in the afternoon. It's 3 a.m. It's 6 p.m. It's 4 p.m. It's 12 p.m. No se escucha, mis. Right now? Sí. Yes. Okay. Oh, sí. Excellent. Oh, sí. Thank yes. you so much. Yes, yes. Okay. Now let's go ahead. We're going to practice this. As we know that during the day, we have different periods, right? Different times. We have the morning, we have the noon, we have the afternoon, the evening, and the night. But let's check. Is it a.m. or p.m.? The first one, it says it's 7 o'clock in the morning because we know we have 7 o'clock in the morning, but also in the evening. In the morning. Or another form, you can say it's 7 a.m. So it's optional, right? You can say it's 7 o'clock or it's 7 in the morning. Another option, it's 7 a.m. Let's see the next one. It's 12. It's 12 o'clock. It's 12 p.m. Or it's noon. So it's noon is exactly the time for lunch, like a mediodía, right? So that is like the specific time. But it's exact time. Oh, this one at 12 p.m., right? Part of the morning, part of the afternoon. So we can use that manner. Now, the other one. It's 4 or it's 4 o'clock in the afternoon, or you can say it's 4 p.m. Another manner, it's seven, it's seven o'clock. Remember that o'clock it means exact time. So in this case, it's exact at seven in the evening. In the evening, es ya tarde noche, ¿verdad? Ya despidiéndonos de la tarde, pero entrando a la noche. So that is in the evening. Mm -hmm. Then we say it's 7 p.m. So that's another option. We can say it's 10, 10 o'clock at night. Now, it's not in the night. It's at night. So we use preposition in the morning. Also, you can say in the afternoon, in the evening, but at night. Solo at night. Esa sí va a tener una preposición diferente. You say at night. Or it's 10 p.m. Now it's p.m., right? It's not evening, but it's p.m. Por eso cuando decimos, cuando nosotros, eh, se fijan cuando entramos a la clase y que decimos, hey, good evening, es porque llegamos a un lugar. Cuando nosotros llegamos y saludamos a un lugar que ya está por la noche, o ya sea tarde, noche, ya en la noche, de entrada decimos good evening, pero ya cuando nos despedimos decimos good night. It's good night. Son, son diferentes, ¿verdad? Tanto para llegada y de despedida. Tanto de ida de un lugar o también puede ser para despedirse cuando uno ya se va a dormir en la misma casa. It's good night. Now, in the next one, it's 12. 12 o'clock at night. It's 12 a.m. It's midnight. So, in the middle of the night, right? A medianoche. That's midnight. So, noon, a mediodía, and midnight, medianoche. Now, let's check. We're going to repeat them. Maria Media, can you please start with the first one? It's 7 o'clock in the morning. It's 7 o'clock in the morning. Excellent. It's 7 a.m. It's 7 a.m. 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 That's correct. Good one. Aaron, continue. It's 12 o'clock. It's 12 o'clock. Nice. It's 12 p.m. It's 12 p.m. It's noon. It's noon. Excellent. That's right. Thank you. Brian, Rene, continue. It's 4 o'clock in the afternoon. It's 4 o'clock in the afternoon. 
Nice. It's 4 p.m. It's 4 p.m. That's great. Thank you. Gabriela, continue here. It's 7 o'clock in the evening. It's 7 o'clock in the evening. It's 7 p.m. 7 p.m. Excellent. Thank you. Juan Alberto, it's 10 o'clock at night. It's 10 o'clock at night. Good one. It's 10 p.m. It's 10 p.m. Really good job. Thank you. Blanca, continue. It's 12 o'clock at night. It's 12 o'clock at night. 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 It's 12 a.m. It's 12 a.m. 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 Nice. It's midnight. It's midnight. Excellent job. That's good. Okay, let's continue okay. here. Okay. Sandra Guadalupe. It's 9 o'clock in the evening. It's 9 o'clock in the evening. It's nice. 9 p.m. Excellent. So you have two options, right? You can say 9 o'clock in the evening or it's 9 p.m. So that is optional. It's optional, right? Continue, okay. Navi, please. It's eight o'clock in the morning. It's eight o'clock in the morning. That's right. Good one. Judy, continue. It's 12 o'clock at night. It's 12 o'clock at night. 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 Excellent job. That's good night. one. Rafael, very good job. That's nice. Continue, Rafael. The Sorry. next one. In the, uh -huh. afternoon. in the afternoon excellent okay so let's give another option here what's another option we can write here uh, it's three in the afternoon what is the second option it's 3 p.m excellent that's perfect it's 3 p.m that's right good it's, one it's this, three yes tell me porque ahí no tiene o'clock en punto uh, where? This one. Uh, it's three o'clock, no, no lleva o'clock. This one is optional. Um, este es opcional. Usted puede decir, it's three o'clock p.m. Or it's three o'clock uh -huh, a.m. Or it's three o'clock in the morning, it's three o'clock uh -huh. in the afternoon. But it's optional. Eso es uh -huh. como para poner énfasis que es en punto, exacta la uh -huh. hora. Uh -huh. So the two forms, it's, it's correct to use. You're welcome. What about the next one? It's 3 a.m. What is the other option? Brian? It's, it's 3 o'clock. Uh -huh. no. Let me see. You can say yes. It's 3 o'clock, but in the morning or in the afternoon? In the morning. Ah, in the morning, that's correct. In the morning. In the morning. That's great. Good one. Nice. Thank you. Continue, Sachin, please. It's 6 p.m. Uh, it's 6 p.m. Uh -huh. What's another option? It's, it's in the 6 p.m. 6 p.m. This is one option. Esta es una de las opciones que tenemos acá, pero tenemos otra manera. It's so, six. Ajá. It's the, it's in, six o'clock in, 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 in the evening. Evening. Okay, that's good. It's six. It's six. In the, the evening. evening. After in evening. In the evening. Well, mm. this one is in the in the evening porque ya está entrando a parte de la noche. In the evening. Mm -hmm, correct. Um, it's six o'clock in the evening. Okay. Evening. In the evening. Yeah, because at five is still afternoon. Ya casi, ¿verdad? Va llegando a la parte de la noche, oscureciendo ya. Navy, do you have a question? Ajá, eso es lo que quería consultarle, si eh, in the evening, eh, entrando las 5 o las 6, ya podríamos la decir seis. así. Entrando las 6, ah, porque todavía de las 5 es la tarde, eso es afternoon. Ajá. Ajá. De 6, entonces en ese caso sería de 6 a 8 quizás, ¿verdad? Until 8, ajá, correct, because at night is like um, a más uh -huh. de las 8. Ya, ya es, ya es ya noche. Ya a las 8, ya it's night already. Uh -huh. Correct. Thanks. My pleasure. Okay, we have another case here. Now, in this one, remember in the platform, you have these options. 
You have the case of these clocks that they were given by the platform. Now let's check here which is the correct form. For example, in this one, in the first one that you have. The correct, okay, in the example, you have what time is it? It's 20 after two. That's another case. That after substitutes past. Ese after sustituye past. Porque significa después. Okay. Pero es más utilizado past. Pero ambos son correctos. You say 20 after son 20 después de las dos. Or past. You say it's 20 past two. Or it's 220. What's the other case? What time is it in number two? We have the options, right? We have it's 10 to 7, it's 10.35, it's 6.50, or it's 25 to 11. What's the best option? Actually, remember it's, there are two possible it's, answers, two correct answers. It's, it's 25 10 to, to 7. 11. Uh -huh. 10 to 7. It's 10 to 7. Uh -huh. That's one option, 10 to 7. What's the second it's one? It's 25 to 11. It's no. 25 it's to 11. It's 650. It's 650. Okay, it's 650. 650, look. Mm -hmm. Yes. Porque yes. faltan 10 para las 7. Yes, las 7. Lo que pasa es que aquí hay, agu hay las agujas que a veces las hacen casi iguales del tamaño. Entonces hay que verlas como, como bien para ver cuál es la más pequeña, la horaria, right? Ahí so estoy diciendo las 650, ¿verdad? Ajá, that's correct. So if you say it's 6, 50, las 6 es 50, o oh, 10 to 7, o oh, 10 a las yeah, 7. La the two options are correct. Correct to say them. Mm -hmm. All right, we have this manner then. We need to pass the list. So let's tell me, please, if you are present. I'm going to check it. All right, let's start. Aaron? Present, Miss. Thank you. Ada Lisette? Present, Miss. Very good. Welcome. Thank you. Alejandra Margarita? Alejandra Margarita? No. Ariel Alexandra? Ariel Alexandra? Blanca Rosa? Present y la voy a Thank you. Still, still present. That's good. <laughs> Brian Rene. Present. Very good. Douglas. Douglas Heriberto. <laughs> Elmer de Nilsson. Present. Thank you so much. Fernando de Jesus. Present. Thank you. Gabriela Abigail. Present. Thank you very much. Jocelyn Susana. Jocelyn. Juan Alberto. Juan so Alberto. Nice. Yes, thank you very much. Kenia Vanessa. Kenia. Kenia Vanessa. María Emilia. Same. Thank you. Marisol Elizabeth. Miss Kenia Vanessa sí está en el sí está. It's in the group, right? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Es que Thank you. se me va el internet de repente. Eh, eh, ajá, se está fallando por el um, todavía las tormentas, ¿verdad? En algunos lugares ha llovido también. Aquí que... está que ya va a caer un mellazo de agua. Yes. My God. A la que no venga, no, es que rato, termine la clase. Se la sí, a veces se escucha como cortado algunos audios. Okay, Marisol? Is Marisol present? No? Nevi? Present, Miss. Yes, thank you. Rafael Antonio? I am present. here. I am Very here. good, I am here. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Rebecca? <laughs> Rebecca <laughs> Vanessa? <laughs> Rebecca? Sandra Guadalupe. Present, Miss. 
Thank you very much. Sandra Margarita. Present. Thank you. So chill. Present. Thank you very much. And Judy Edit. Present. Very good. Alguien que no mencioné? Marisol. Jocelyn. Ada. Douglas. Ada. Sí, mencioné. Sí, me recuerdo que mencioné a Ada. Sí. Ariel Alexandra. Yes. Uh -huh. And Alejandra Margarita. Ok. All right. Let's go. Ay, ahead. que la vi como que pasó bien del Titanic. ¿eh? <laughs> All right, guys, let's continue then with another topic. And this one is about intonation. But what's in is the manner how we increase the tone of voice. Es la manera como nosotros incrementamos o disminuimos nuestro tono de voz. So it says here that intonation <coughs> Refers to how the voice can change pitch. So change the tone. Cambia el tono, el tono de voz. To convey meaning. Eso es para transmitir un mensaje. In a sense, intonation replaces punctuation. Dice que la entonación reemplaza la puntuación. Porque sabemos que en inglés no hay tildes. Pero sí hay una mayor fuerza de voz en algunas de las palabras. Dependiendo en qué queremos poner énfasis. Let's check here. We got some. Como cuando son de terminación. Ahí can be exclamation. Ajá, pueden ser terminación. Pueden ser las preguntas. Que recordemos que en las preguntas también ponemos énfasis. Dependiendo de lo que mm -hmm. queremos investigar. Exist two forms of intonation. We have rising intonation. Rising intonation, it means that goes up. El, el tono de voz se eleva, se incrementa. Falling intonation, it means que te crece, que disminuye. So it says rising intonation is essentially the opposite of falling intonation. Yes, they go in opposite manners. And is when the voice rises or gets higher. So aumenta, right? Se eleva la fuerza de voz. And normally we use it with a yes and no. So affirmative or negative. But in yes, no questions too. For example, if we have this yes, no questions, we can observe. Am I reading? Are you speaking? Are you crying? Is he eating? Is she cooking? Is it telling? Are you sleeping? Are we skin? Are they skin? Si observamos. Vamos elevando o incrementando el mayor fuerza de voz al finalizar. Que es en la acción en la que queremos poner más énfasis. Am I reading? Estoy leyendo. No lleva el, el mismo nivel de tono de voz. No va como, am I reading? Are you speaking? No, right. Hasta aburrido suena. <ríe> so we need to put emphasis. No es necesario poner énfasis y para aclarar. ¿Qué es lo que estoy investigando? Now, in the falling intonation, as we mentioned, diminish, disminuye el tono de voz. For example, in the WH questions, we have, what am I doing? Where is he going? Who are you meeting? Observamos como en la WH words, aquí se eleva y aquí va disminuyendo. Al final, se escucha más bajo el tono de voz. What am I doing? Where is he going? Who are you meeting? No puede ir el mismo nivel porque si no tiene como un sentido diferente. It's like this. What am I doing? Suena gritado. Right? So it's different. It's very different here. Now, let's see other options that we can have. Let's see on the next slideshow. Uh 
Okay. Now we're going to watch another video. This is referring to rising and falling intonation. So you can see the differences. Hi everyone. In this class you'll No problem with the video? Yes. No problem. It's okay. No, okay. no problem. Excellent. Learn thank about you. No teacher. And falling Great, intonation thank you. In yes or no questions and WH questions. Let's get started by understanding intonation. Pitch is raising and lowering the tone of voice while speaking. The use of pitch is called intonation. Understanding English intonation will increase not only your spoken English competency, but your English comprehension as well. Intonation is used to <clears throat> convey meaning. For example, you have the same set of words in two separate sentences, but in one the meaning may be different than in the other due to intonation. In this class, we'll focus on yes or no questions and WH questions and how intonation gives meaning. Let's listen and practice. Notice the intonation of yes or no and WH questions. Is she getting up? Are they sleeping? What's she doing? What are they doing? Well, there are many exceptions and rules to follow. In general, we can follow these two simple rules. For yes and no questions, there will be a rising intonation. For example, is she getting up? Are they sleeping? For WH questions, there will be a falling intonation. For example, what's she doing? What are they doing? This topic, along with all the other pronunciation topics, require careful listening and to practice. I would like for you to listen carefully to your favorite English TV program and notice the rising and falling intonation of yes or no questions and WH questions. Okay, now we observe the video there. Now we have more examples. Now let's check. Let's practice it. We have here the case of rising intonation that remember that it goes up. The tone of voice increases, but the falling intonation, it goes down. Now tell me here, we have present continuous, yes, no questions. Is he working today? Is she working today? Are you working today? Are they working today? And we have all the possible affirmatives and the negative forms. Now, tell me here, as they are yes, no questions, what is the correct intonation? Is it rising intonation or falling intonation? Rising. It's rising, right? That's correct. So we have rising because the intonation increases. Very good job. That's nice. Okay, let's go ahead with the next part. What about these ones? Now, these ones are WH questions. Let's repeat this one. Now, notice here that they are in Bangkok and it's 7 p.m. What about in Tokyo? What time is in Tokyo? Gabriela, what time is it in Tokyo? It's 9 p.m. It's 9 p.m. Excellent. Okay, now tell me, Emilia. What time is it in your city? It's... <laughs> I did not know. Look, it's 00. It's but it's not... Uh -huh. it's... Tell me. Is it midnight? midnight. It's midnight. No. Are you sure it's midnight? Uh, 12 o'clock. Uh, 12. 12. But it's 12 p.m. or 12 in the night? 12 a.m. I am. 
it's a yam, right? So it's like 12, but a noon. Remember 12, noon? Que es a mediodía, right? No, oh, okay, okay. because we had two types of 12. Sería, sería PM. No. Ah, si a PM, PM. Ajá, porque ya, ya, ya entró a mediodía. Es right? noon PM. Es uh -huh. noon, noon, solo noon. En el caso de noon, ya no it's vamos a noon. mencionar PM, solo it's noon. It's okay. noon. Now, in midnight, well, we know that is already, ya es más del, del siguiente día que de la noche, right? Mm. So, this part of that. Now, Let's see this one. Is y en ese caso, noon. cuando se mencionan las cero horas, las cero horas. And then it's noon. It's noon. Porque son las cero horas, pero del día, ¿verdad? Pero esa medianoche. Y, uh, eh, de hecho, las cero horas es más que todo utilizada a medianoche. Ajá. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Es más correcto. Eso como, como, son las como, cero mid, horas. como midnight. It's midnight, correct. It can be midnight, right? In this case. So that I, depending on the, on the places, right? Por, por, por la imagen es de día. Es noon, it's noon. correct. Mm -hmm. O lo, como hay algunos países, ¿verdad? Que dicen que no anochece, siempre está el sol. <laughs> The sun is always there. Tiny. Ok. So, like here we have, what's Perman, what's Permsack doing? He's eating dinner right now. What's Hiroshi doing? He's checking his email. What are you doing? And now you can say, like, I'm going to the park, right? Different cases, but in present progressive. Now, notice here that it's falling intonation or rising intonation. What's the correct? Hello? Hello, help me with the audio, please. Hello? Si me ayudan con el audio. Yes, yes, thank you. Esa novela. Esa es opera. They are watching El Señor de los Cielos o ya no lo dan. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> In Netflix. La Rosa de Guadalupe también. Ah, La Rosa de Guadalupe. No, but Rosa de Guadalupe. They pass it at seven, right? Rosa de Guadalupe, they pass it at seven. No la pasan como a las siete o a las seis. A las seis, creo. A las seven. A <laughs> seven o'clock, right? Ah, you watch Rosa de Guadalupe, right, Brian? Six p.m. <laughs> a six p.m. <laughs> Okay, so what we say is falling intonation or rising intonation. It's WH questions. Rising or falling? Falling intonation. It's falling, falling, right? Yes, porque va disminuyendo. Solo al inicio en la WH es que empieza la, uh, la mayor fuerza de voz porque eso usted quiere enfatizar en qué. What's firms like doing? Okay, so we have this case. Now, questions about this. So you have questions with falling intonation or rising intonation? Eh, ¿Qué es Permax? Per ah, it's a name. Oh. It's a person. It's the name. It's the name of the of this boy. Mm. It's his name. Es it's a nombre. Es un nombre. It's like oh. Hiroshi. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, okay, it's okay. a nation guy. <laughs> Very strange names, yes. Me quedó la duda, Miss, con Ajá, la, las cero horas. ¿Cómo se diría ahí? That will be midnight, basically. Porque ya son las cero horas. Ya para iniciar el siguiente. Ya nos acabamos el día, nos acabamos las horas. Y para iniciar el siguiente día, ¿sí? las 12 en punto. O puede ser también 12 p.m. You can say 12 p.m. Or uh, midnight. De, miss, de, sería English. dependiendo de, 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 ¿cómo se llama? De la hora, digamos, por ejemplo, así, digamos. Por ejemplo, ahí se ve que es de día. Ajá. Sería midnight. Y si mm -hmm. nos preguntan en la noche, sería moon. Noon. No, en el día, en el día es noon, porque es a mediodía. En el día es noon. Aquí es noon. Tengo. Porque, ajá, porque Pero, está. Tengo Remember <laughs> it's time for lunch. For lunch, 12. Pero en el día no yes. puede existir la cero hora, ¿verdad, Miss? Tendría que ser así. No. Eh, Ajá, midnight. informalmente, informalmente Ajá. a veces lo utilizan, pero no es, no es correcto. So, es mejor decir noon, 
porque es a mediodía. Si decimos at noon es porque ya sabemos que son las 12. So it's 12. It's 12 p.m. Now, 12 a.m. Ya sería que ya, ya me pasé de las 12, de las 0 horas. Ya la madrugada prácticamente. O sea que siempre sería noon. Noon, but during the day. Eso ya sería a mediodía. Time for Mediodía. lunch. Mediodía. Ajá. En midnight, then it will be a medianoche. Okay. Medianoche. That will be another time. Let's go ahead. Now, remember that here you have the other exercise. 5.7 in the platform. For example, here you have, are you wearing a coat? This is a yes, no question or WH question. Yes or no. Yes Rising. or no question, right? Excellent. So it's rising or falling? Rising. It's yeah, rising, yeah, yeah. right? Because when you pronounce it, you say, are you wearing a coat? Right? If you repeat it. Now, this one will be, what are you doing yeah. now? Look. No falling. puede ser el mismo tono de falling. voz porque si no, no estamos enfatizando nada. Just, what are you doing now? Hasta aburrido suena, right? What are you doing now? Mismo nivel, como ¿no? De, como de ganado se oye cuando uh -huh. lo Ajá, exactly. Now, different, if you pronounce the same level. Ahora, si lo incrementamos y decimos el mismo nivel, entonces sería como gritado, like, what are you doing now? Mismo nivel, pero elevándolo. All right. No correct. Hay que poner como más énfasis en qué nos interesa más en la parte de la pregunta. Entonces, what are yes. you doing now? Are you wearing a coat? So o sea, que si queremos utilizar coat? las palabras anteriores, wear, won, go, what, esas serían con entonación fuerte. Ajá, rising intonation that you have with a um, yes, no question, and falling intonation, WH question. Yes. Emphasis. A specific question. WH question. Falling intonation. Se incrementa en la WH word y poco a poco se va disminuyendo. Yes. Yes, me. Right. Okay. We can practice here. We have WH questions. This is rising or falling intonation. Falling, falling intonation. intonation. Excellent. That's good. So let's repeat them. Let's see how do you repeat it. Let's start. Sandra Guadalupe, start here, please. Remember to use the intonation, right? Sigamos la entonación. Fallen intonation. Okay. Okay. What is your friend wearing? Writing. Writing. Right. Writing. 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 Uh huh. On the envelope. Writing. On, on the envelope. envelope. On the envelope. That's good. Yeah. Repeat it again. What is your friend writing on the envelope? Repeat. What is your friend writing on the envelope? Envelope. No. Envelope. Very good job. Thank you. That's good. Navi, continue. Put emphasis. What is... Why? No. Why? 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 Good one. Why are you writing... Crying. Right. Crying. Crying. Good. Repeat it, please. Why? What? Why are you crying? Crying. 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 That's very good. Crying. 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 Uh -huh. crying. No pongamos mucha énfasis en la Y como si fuera una Y, sino crying. como si fuera una doble I. Ajá. Crying. Crying. Uh -huh. Crying. Very mm. good job. Nice. Repeat it, please. Why are you crying? Why are you crying? Why? Why? Yes? That's good. We use why in that case. Good one. Thank you. Gabriela, continue, please. Where are the boys going? Eso sonó con el mismo nivel. Put emphasis. Where are the boys going? Same level, mismo nivel, no hay énfasis. Where are the boys going? Where are the boys going? Better, that's good one, nice one. Sandra Margarita, continue please. Whose car is Pedro driving? Very good job, that's nice. Kenia Vanessa. 
Who is fixing your Who is? car? Who is? Who is fixing, fixing your car? Fixing your car. Fixing your car. Fixing. Aha, uh -huh, good. What is fixing? Who is fixing your car? That's very good. That was sounds better. Good one. What is fixing, guys? Fixing means repairing. Oh, like they are synonyms. The base form Modelo. of the verb. Sorry? Modelo? No. No. Fixing, eh, we have a base form. La forma base del verbo, recordemos que es quitando el ING. Entonces sería fix. Fix es un sinónimo de repair, de reparar. Oh, perdón, perdón. So it will be reparando. Ajá, correct. So in this case, we investigate quién. Aquí investigamos quién, ¿verdad? ¿Quién está reparando tu carro? Who is fixing your car? Who is fixing your car? Now let's answer them. Let's El verbo es fix, ¿verdad? Fix, fix. Reparar. Fixing. Ajá, correct. So fixing, it will be present continuous, like reparando. Now let's give the answer. Let's give the answer here. Now we're going to use in the first one. What about the first one? It says, what is your friend writing on the envelope? What is envelope? Sobre. Un sobre, correct, excellent. What is it possible to write on an envelope? The address, for example, la dirección is possible. So my subject is your friend, right? Remember well, that your friend, is... uh -huh. your friend, it can be he or she, possible, feminine or masculine. He is, what else? What is the rest? You need the action. Writing. Buying. Writing. Uh -huh. Writing. He's writing the address. The address. The address. Yeah, está escribiendo la dirección. And that's my answer. Remember here that as is a, a WH question, yes and no is not valid because you investigate a specific information. Now let's see with the next one. The next one investigates why. Reason. Why are you crying? Possibility. Why are you crying? What's the possibility? Because my serious doesn't want me. Because I'm sorry. My crush doesn't love me. Okay, that's a good answer. That's a good reason. Okay. <laughs> because my crush, that's good. Doesn't love me. A mucho lo va a llegar ahí, verdad? Al corazón. <laughs> 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 my crush doesn't love me okay that's good that's the reason that we have now let's go ahead with the next one where are the boys going possible answer where now investigate about the place the boy is going to the beach. You need to use the verb to be, right? Where the, are? The boys? the boys? The boys are. Excellent. That's good. Now, remember that here we can substitute. The boys is my subject. <clears throat> what is the subject pronoun that I can use to substitute? Are you, we, they, he, she, it. Which one? They. Excellent. That's good. There, you can use a contraction or you can say complete, like they are or there. What else? Action. In the stadium. In the action? Going. In the ¿Dónde están yendo? ¿A dónde, ¿A dónde están yendo? ¿O para dónde van los chicos? So it's occurring at this moment. You need the action. What is the action? They're going. Excellent. That's good. This is my action. Correct. They're they're going, They're going to, to, to the study. To the, to the stadium, right? To the park. To the park, to the stadium, to the university. Suppose that is to the stadium. To the, 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 the mall. To the school. To the academy. 
Ajá, that's good. To, to the, the movie church. theater. To the church. All right, that's the correct. Museum. To the museum. So you can use different places, right? They are going to the stadium. What about <laughs> whose car? Whose car? Remember, what is whose? When do we use whose? The quien, excellent. In the investigates possessive, right? Whose car is Pedro driving? ¿Cómo traducirían esta pregunta? ¿De quién es el carro que maneja Pedro? Que maneja Pedro. Que está manejando. Remember, Así. it's at this moment. ¿De quién es el carro que, el pe que Pedro está manejando, está conduciendo? Ajá, ok. So you need to use possessive. What will be a possible answer? It is the car is it's mine. It's the, it's the co co-working. Okay, it's, you can say. It is, it's, the car, it is the car is mine. Ah, very good. You can say then, it's mine. Es mío, right? Porque acá quiere investigar la posesión de quién es, ¿verdad? So, ¿de quién es? Aquí en discusión está el carro, que es la posesión. ¿De quién es el carro que Pedro está manejando? Ay, es mío. So the subject is the car. El sujeto es, es el carro. No, Pedro. It's not him. Él es el que está realizando eh, la acción de conducirlo. Pero investigo de quién es ese carro. So you can say, it's mine. Or, it's my car. Yes, remember, we have different manners to include it there. What is the next one? Who is fixing your car? ¿Quién está reparando tu carro? Now investigate the subject. Aquí investiga quién. ¿Quién está realizando esta acción? Si observamos acá, no hay un sujeto porque yo investigo el sujeto. ¿Quién está realizando la acción? Tell me, what's the possibility? The mechanic. Ah, very good. Continue. The mechanic. The mechanic is... Fixing my car. Excellent job. That's all right. Fixing the car. And here we have the answer. I look for the mechanic. That's all right. Good one. Okay. Tomorrow we're going to continue practicing with this. Mañana seguiríamos practicando eso mismo también. Y le voy a enviar también otro video para seguir reforzando el presente progresivo. Questions, guys? Um, any question no no nothing no. nothing 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 all right guys i hope you have sweet dreams beautiful night Good dream night. with the angels <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much have a great night Good night, Isha. Good night. Good night. Take care. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Have a good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Sweet dreams. Take care. Quiden say, take care. I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye. Bye bye. Goodbye.